Hello, this is Qing Zhao. Our group has four members: Data Kelly Driver, Qing Zhao, Samuel Song, and Brandon Brain. So our group wanna create a game. The game name is Cannot Stop. So try to imagine when you are waiting your friend, or you have free time, you feel boring, you want to do something. Then you are, you can play our games. Our game is easy to play. So let me introduce the game rule. The default in the default function is jump. You always jump. You wanna get a higher grade. So you wanna avoid hitting on enemy. If you hit the enemies, then it is game over. So if you jump to the button of the screen, it is also game over. So let me introduce the main menu. So when you open the game, you will be see our game name it on the top, and in the button there have two buttons, name regular. Mode and practice mode. So, if you first time to play our game, you may want to play the practice mode. In the practice mode, there have some instruction teach you how to play the game. Then, if you know how to play, you can you can press the regular mode. This is the one you wanna play. So next, let's uh, let's we will come the Kelly Drive. Look at it. So on this slide. We just have multiple backgrounds, and the user doesn't get to choose what kind of background they have in practice mode or in the real mode. It's just a random background to make the scenery a little bit nicer looking than just bland. Um, in regular mode, we have different kinds of platforms, like the strong platform, which is the one that the user jumps on, and they will get points, and they will jump higher, and they won't fall or anything and then the weak platform is when the user jumps on them they will fall right through and won't get any points for that and then there's the accelerate platform which when they step on it they'll jump higher than they would normally jump and get extra points and the vector platform which will they won't get any points and they will randomly be moved to the left or right of the screen The enemies will randomly be placed within the game, and there will be different kinds, and you must avoid getting hit by them, otherwise you will lose, and you'll also be able to shoot them. As the character automatically jumps up, the accelerometer and the device will be used to determine which way the character moves. Tilting the screen towards the negative x-axis will cause the character to go right and tilting the phone to the positive x-axis will cause the character to go to the left. If you look at the small picture, the blue arrow shows you uh, which way the character will go. So we have shooting functions. When a user taps a screen, uh, it calculates the x-axis and y-axis so the missile coming from the character of ours to the tapped position. Uh, we plan to add more different types of missiles. And this is jumping up. So it jumps up automatically when it lands on a, pla on a platform. platform in height and it falls down. And when it lands on a platform, and it jumps it back. <laughs> Uh, so when it jumps it up and it doesn't land on a platform which means it falls down then the game's over so at the end it shows game over sign and the score and you can type in your name on the game